Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf Six. Welcome to Eric Mealtime. And in today's episode, we're doing Northern Japan cuisine from the this area here, Northern Honshu, and then also Hokkaido. So we're combined together into one. Check it out. This is one of the specialties, the gyutan or beef tongue. This is the Osake from Fukushima. Cheers, come by. Oh, it's very sweet. It tastes like Kool-Aid, spiked Kool-Aid. Mm. Right. Okay, we'll start with the uh, edamame, soybeans. Oh. Not on the floor. Gotta be careful when you pop them. These are pretty good sized ones. Served chilled and salted. Mm hmm. Nice and crisp. These are good. This is the otoshi here, the table charge. It looks like it's some okra and maybe some chicken. Gooey, gooey okra. Oh yeah. It's gooey and it's crunchy. This is called koya here, or it's a type of sea pineapple, I believe. Very exotic sea plants. Oh. It's wow. Kind of reminds me of sea urchin a little bit. It's got a tanginess to it. Mmm. I like the seaweed that it's served with. Interesting. It's very similar to uni, sea urchin. Hmm. Good. This is called amazake pickles. Or it's got sake in it, I guess. Vegetables infused with sake. There's the sake down there at the bottom. Yeah, so it's just pickled vegetables, and then it's in the amasake, the sweet sake. Refreshing. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is good. Tasty. Here's an exotic one. Type of radish. This dish here is bataniku or beef pork belly with onions and chives. Looks pretty delish. Sliced really, really thin. All right, going in. Mm -hmm. Oh. Some sweet sauce. This is tasty. A little on the chewy side, but it's pretty darn tasty. Yeah. Mm hmm. I really like these grilled onions. Mm hmm. This here is kamaboko fish cakes served with wasabi. Too much wasabi? I'll let you know. Oh, 
too much wasabi. Interesting texture on these things. It's quite a thick skin on the outside of these fish cakes. And they're not that fishy. Typically these fish cakes are fishy. These, not so much so. Nicely chilled. Very interesting texture. Mm -hmm. And not so fishy. I like them. This dish is called hata hata, or a type of fried fish that you can eat the bones and everything. That's right. You eat the whole lot. Shall we? Head and everything. Oh boy. Ooh. Wow, it's a meaty fish. Mmm. Wow. It tastes like it's boneless. Does that make any sense? <laughs> it's really, really soft all the way through. And the taste all the way through is pretty consistent. Yeah, delicious. These are good. This dish is called imoni. It's a meat and potatoes soup or stew. Looks more like a soup than it does a stew. There's quite a bit of meat in it too. And there's the potato right there. It's a sato potato. Comes with konyaku. Some onions. What else have we got? Ooh, it's some tofu. Fried tofu. Let's cut this in half. And anything else? Soup. We gotta get some of the soup. Let's try the soup first. Hmm. Interesting soup stock. A little on the sweet side. It's good though. It's good. Let's get some meat. Meat and onions. Just like the previous dish. Mmm. Oh, some nice beef. Again, thinly sliced. Let's try the potato, shall we? Looks like a gooey potato. Mm-hmm. It's a gooey potato. Mm, lots of onions in here. Should we try the konyaku? Mm-hmm. Konyaku is fairly flavorless, I think. How about the tofu? Oh yeah. It's like a sponge, it soaks up the flavor of the soup. This is a very nice dish. Mm-hmm. From Yamagata Prefecture. Mm. These are a type of rice cake, or very similar to dango, but in the form of a cylinder instead of balls. So this is miso on this one, and this is shoyu here. I guess we'll start with the miso. Food on a stick. rice. Interesting. It's quite heavy. Mm. Mm. The rice is nicely blended together here. It tastes more like a bakery item than it does rice. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Smothered in miso and a very strong this is all the miso right here. There's a lot of miso on it. Try a little bit more. Mmm. 
That's really good. What a nice way to eat rice. Should we try this one? This one looks more like a dessert, although it's not a dessert. Almost looks like a honey, doesn't it? Interesting. Is it gonna be sweet? Is it gonna be salty? Ooh, it's both. Sweet and it's salty. Mm. And this one, the texture's a bit different too. This is, it's a smoother rice cake. Maybe because it's cooled down a little bit. Very interesting. Mmm, tasty. They're both delicious. The gyutan or beef tongue has arrived. It's really, really thick. Oh my goodness. because it's already top tongue. It looks like it's gonna be really, really tough. I've never had beef tongue this thick before. It's really, usually it's served really, really thin. Just hit it with a little lemon on top. No sauce or show you or anything. It does come with wasabi too, so we'll try a little bit of wasabi. There we go. Beef tongue, here we go. Oh. Hmm. It's pretty tender. Mmm. I'm not sure it goes with the wasabi, but I, I do like the lemon on it. I think just the lemon by itself is nice. The wasabi kind of takes away from the taste of the meat. Mm. Wow, this is good. It's a little bit on the tough side, but hey, it's beef tongue. So for the thickness of it, I think this is pretty good. Pretty decent quality. Yeah. Wow. I think because they cut it like this, see how they've kind of cut into the meat? That makes it a little more tender. That's the technique right there. You gotta slice into it. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Ah, some tasty meat. Yep, it's just salt and pepper on there, that's all it is. Salt, pepper, and lemon. Next up is the sashimi teishoku, or set plate. And cost performance is pretty good on this. It's 1,100 yen for this whole thing, which is about 10 US dollars. Let's get in for the sashimi first. We'll start with my favorite, which is the salmon or sake. Good stuff. I like the color. Bright orange. Mm-hmm. Here we go. We're not going wasabi on this. Mm. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. We'll do the standard ones first. <laughs> Magudo or Akami, the basic tuna. This one can have some wasabi on it. Mm -hmm. Pretty thick piece of fish. Mm -hmm. This is called saba right here. Actually, I prefer the saba cooked. Bit rather than sashimi style, but oh well. Um. Oh, it has been cooked. And it's in a vinegar already. Mm. It's pretty standard. Mm -hmm. This is a very meaty fish. Yeah. This one here is called Thai. A 
We'll go a little bit of wasabi. Mmm. Oh. It goes well with the wasabi. Mm-hmm. Nice white fish. Mm-hmm. And the last one, I believe this is hamachi or yellowtail. It's a good one. Tastes like steak. Yeah. All right. What else do we have here? A little salad, an egg salad. Oh, so cute. It's in a vinegar sauce. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the rice. Some pickled vegetables. I'll save the miso soup for last. Got one more dish here. Looks like some more pickled vegetables and some fish eggs. Crunch, crunch. Oh, I like those. Some fish cakes. And some seaweed. Mmm. All from the sea. Delicious goodies from the sea. Oh, yeah. I think I like the fish eggs the best. Mm -hmm. Oh, tasty. Going in for the miso soup. Mm. Wow, I'll tell you what, great value for 10 bucks. Correction on this piece right here. This is not hamachi. This is katsuo. Katsuo is, is definitely the, the thicker, heavier, like steak. Resembles a steak cut. This here is a mochi parfait. So I believe this is the mochi here. The... This is a pineapple sherbet. This is the mochi here. This other one on the bottom. Yeah. This one. A rice cake parfait. You almost need a knife to cut it. Okay, there we go. We got a piece. We'll go with the raspberry and some cream. All right, going in for the rice cake parfait. got the texture of bubble gum. It even tastes like bubble gum. <laughs> All kinds of stuff in here. Some pound cake. Mmm. <laughs> Green tea pound cake. Mm -hmm. And let's get some of the onco, the bean paste, sweet bean paste. It's a good dessert. A lot of things going on there. So now it is time to rate this meal. The food from northern Japan, northern Honshu and Hokkaido all kind of combined together. The thing I like best about this restaurant is the cost performance. I think everything is really good value. You can try a lot of stuff for pretty reasonable. But on my rating scale, I'm going to go five out of six. So it's a num num. I want to thank you guys for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, I look forward to reading your comments. We shall see you in the next one.